Is it safe to put your kids on a school bus? A deadly school van accident in Westmoreland County today and yesterday's school bus crash in Mars has some parents wondering how safe are school buses? Barry Pintar set out to find the answer. School buses are the most regulated vehicles on the road. School buses are also some of the safest vehicles on the road. So how do we know that to be true? And where are those claims coming from? Out of control up this muddy hill at a high rate of speed slamming into trees. The driver and two kids taken by ambulance to hospitals. The last 24 hours here in Western Pennsylvania has been tough. We have we've had two accidents, right? DJ Fry owns a large bus company in Beaver County and is part of the Pennsylvania School Bus Association. There are things he wants parents to know and there are basic stats worth knowing. Even though it's been a bad 24 hours, it will always and it has always been the safest way. Starting here with bus safety facts from the NTSB, from 2013 to 2022, nine years, 111 occupants have been killed in school transportation vehicles. 50 were drivers, 61 were students in nine years. Next, about drivers. All of them, by state regulation, must have a regular physical every 13 months. Here's the form. We can click on this vehicle. They also must have the special CDL licenses, special training. Not just anyone can drive a school bus. They have a construction called a compartmentalization construction, which is similar to an egg in an egg cart. Yeah. So that student at time of impact will kind of jar around in that padded area. Yeah. That bus is also constructed much heavier and higher off the ground than a light truck and smaller vehicles. Now about the buses themselves. The design inside the buses is no mistake. Seat placement, height, padding for students and drivers, very specific to provide minimum injury in any type of accident. I'm willing to bet if you saw that video, the in-cabin the cabin camera, to that accident, you will see exactly how that construction, you know, the park mentalization worked in that accident, where the students probably just bounced around in that padded area. And you know, when you really think about it, as horrible as yesterday's accident was, eight kids injured, all are home at this hour because of the internal safety design of that bus. Reporting at Beaver County, Barry Pintar, KDKA TV News.